dear colleagues in the member states, as I have previously stated, ensuring coherence among the different new EU defense initiatives is of paramount importance for EDA. But we should not forget that the ultimate objective is the output in the form of more capabilities for our member states. Just a few days ago, the steering board at ministerial level took stock of our work in the European Defence Agency in support of the new EU defence initiatives, but also and in, took stock of the wide portfolio of more than 110 uh, ongoing projects worth 270 million euro. On the occasion of the steering board, 22 member states signed an ad hoc program for cross-border movement permissions, which will permit our member states to harmonize their national procedures for cross-border movement of capabilities and forces in the air, surface, or the inland waterways. This will allow us to have a more agile military mobility of capabilities and forces in Europe. This is a capability multiplier. We need to be able to get the capabilities and forces to the right place at the right moment. This is the significance of this program as a contribution to military mobility.